From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Carrie Sharp with a look at your headlines. Two people killed and multiple injured in a shooting at a Kentucky Kroger store. The shooting happened earlier today on the east end of Louisville. Police say one victim was hit inside, the other in the parking lot. One person is in custody. The motive is still under investigation. An arrest still has not been made in a serious hit and run crash that happened back in May. Lindsay Cowan and Rachel Johnson were riding bird scooters when a black Lexus hit them in a downtown intersection. Both women were hospitalized and Johnson nearly lost her life. As they continue to recover, police are running forensic tests on the car believed to be involved in the crash. It belongs to James Reagan Jr. However, the father of one of the hit and run victims is frustrated by this lengthy investigation and says he's considering hiring his own detective to work this case. Nearly 400 jobs are headed to the mid-state. This afternoon, Mayor David Briley announced Keep, uh, Keep Trucking Incorporated will invest more than $3.5 million in Nashville and create 385 jobs over the next three years. Keep Trucking provides electronic logging devices that allows drivers to track their hours on the road. The devices also offer video monitoring and fuel tax reporting. Time to check your forecast with meteorologist Bree Smith. Rain is on the way, so our sunshiny filled days, they are unfortunately behind us. Now, overnight tonight, the cloud cover thickens. We should be mostly dry around daybreak Thursday. It's at the very end of the day on Thursday. Think after sunset that we'll start to see rain work in from the southwest, so up Interstate 40. This is good news. It means that the Thursday evening commute won't be soggy. Friday morning will be. We'll have wave after wave of showers come through Friday throughout the morning, afternoon, even into the evening hours. Rain chances will start to pull back as we head towards Saturday, but we're still not looking at a bone dry weekend either. Somewhat unsettled for the next four days. Best chance for rain tomorrow is in the evening, specifically late evening. As I mentioned, all day Friday looks to be the soggiest, and then intermittent rain chances Saturday and Sunday.